Steve Hansen here with the Janitorial Store. Say, um, you know, when you're ready to hire a salesperson, you want to think about how you're going to compensate them. Um, you know, and uh, one of the most common ways in the industry is to pay uh, some kind of a salary plus commission. And, you know, what, we, uh, what we've done is that we used to pay a salary, or not a salary, but we paid actually an hourly wage. And then we uh, paid a commission on every sale that the salesperson made. Now, you can structure that commission uh, any way you like. You know, you slice up the pie anyway, uh, as long as it's fair for everybody. So, you could uh, maybe give them a one-time payout to where it's 20% of, of, uh, of the sale. Uh, you may structure it to where they're getting a monthly uh, payout uh, for the account that, they've, that they're uh, taking care of and managing. So, for example, for a monthly account, maybe you're going to pay them... Uh, 5% of the monthly contract uh, to manage it and uh, to make sure that there's no complaints and everybody's taken care of. So what you want to do with that, you want to probably only have that run for about one year. Uh, give them 5% for one year, then the second year drop it down to 2.5% and then on the third year drop it off. You don't want your compensation to run on forever. Uh, you might even uh, you know, shorten that to just give them 5% for one year. You know, it all depends. It, it, you know, you, you decide on how you want to do it. Again, just make sure it's fair for everybody. So uh, those are some examples that you can do. Uh, then also you might even break it down to where, let's say you're going after uh, well, medical cl uh, clients. You know, those are your high priority. So maybe you're telling your salesperson that, okay, any, every medical uh, facility that you bring in, I'll pay an extra... Uh, you know two percent on it so you know maybe if you're paying them that five percent now you're gonna pay them seven percent or eight percent to bring in medical uh, medical accounts or maybe your one-time buyout might be thirty percent you know uh, this just gives them incentive to get out there and get the accounts that you want but uh, anyway that's how you probably want to structure uh, your sales compensation um, you know your, your salary maybe it's twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars eighteen hundred dollars a month Again, you know, uh, you know, look at your numbers, see what you can afford, and again, just make sure that it's fair for everybody. It can't be a one-sided deal for just the company, and you definitely got to keep your salespeople hungry, uh, and also make them accountable. Now, since we're paying them a commission, you know, I want to see reports. I want to see how many calls they made, how many appointments they made. You know, what's what's their um, uh, what's their uh, lead conversion rates. So, you know, these are all reports that I want to see when we have our sales meetings. And make, so make the salesperson accountable and make sure that they have that information. It's very important. You know, we can't manage something that we're not tracking. So hopefully you find this helpful. And, um, you know, good luck to you when you uh, go out to uh, find that salesperson.